Hey guys, Happy New Year. How are you? I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. We sure did. Um, I had no intention of taking time off, but that's just how it turned out between parties and family and playing with all of my new art supplies. YouTube just took a back seat, but I'm back now. So um, I want to show you something exciting. I want a giveaway. And <clears throat> I was very surprised. There's a cute little card. And I have to apologize to Bren who sent me this beautiful wig in her giveaway. Um, I received this uh, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I'm not really sure when it got here. But I apologize for not doing this video sooner. But holidays got in the way. But anyway, Bren has a YouTube channel and a Facebook page. And it's Fake Hair Real Talk with Bren. She's a beautiful woman, beautiful brunette. Um, she wears beautiful, fabulous wigs. And I won this and she sent it to me. It is the Aesthetica Finn in RTH 628. And this color blend is beautiful. It's much darker than I wear normally wear. Um, but so this is kind of a juxtaposition because she has shown blonde wigs that look fabulous on her. She didn't like them, so she sold them. And now I have this beautiful wig to show you. Now, I don't know about this color on me. You guys tell me what you think, but it is absolutely fabulous. Look at this. This is by Aesthetica Designs. Whoa. It is a lace front wig. Look at that nice lace that you have here. The open wefts, the adjustable straps. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of my hair when I was young. My hair was never this dark, but it was maybe a light to a medium brown um, back in my heyday, but I did have a lot of red in it, and this is just gorgeous. Now, at my age of 64, I'm not really sure how well this is this color will go with my skin, but look at that. Just the style, it is just fabulous. So you guys get to tell me. I'm a little uncomfortable in it because it's so dark, and I think it might be a little long for my face, but I might, if I decide to wear it, I will trim it up. If I don't, if I decide that it's not for me, I might just donate it to the cancer, American Cancer Society here in Vegas. So, but isn't that beautiful, you guys? Bren, thank you so much. I'm just, I was just so thrilled to win this. Oh, look at that. So, I don't have any specifications on it. Um, but you can look online, and as I say in all of my wig reviews, if you wear wigs, sign up for the company that you like, that you wanna purchase from, get their emails and their texts to tell you when the specials are going on so that you can get a nice discount. Oh, and this is synthetic hair, which is what I wear. Human hair is very nice, but I don't wanna to have to take care of it. I like being able to just put my hair on and go and not have to worry about the weather, whether it's rainy or humidity, humid. Not that it gets humid here in Vegas very often, but we did get rain last night, so. Anyway, when I come back, I will have this on and I will show you and you can tell me what you think. Be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Look at this beauty. It is so gorgeous. I love the brown and the red and there's some gold in there. And look at the beautiful lace front. That's my hair right there. I do not have a wig grip or a wig cap on. Um, this is the length. It comes to about the collarbone. It has all these beautiful layers and waves in it. I showed it to my husband and I asked him what he thought and he says, well, I'm not used to seeing you in anything like that, which is kind of my take on it but it is gorgeous. I'm not used to something this long or anything this dark, um, but then again, 
Bren wasn't comfortable being in a blonde wig, which looked absolutely stunning on her. So you guys tell me what you think. What do you think about this? I think that if I wear it, I might trim it up a little bit. I should wear it out with my friends. <laughs> Just to see the reaction, that would be so funny. This color is really close to, it's darker than what my hair was, but my hair when I was younger had a lot of red in it. And um, even though my hair is drabbed out a lot because of my age, when I lighten my hair, it still has a lot of red in it. So I have to counteract that. But look at this. I'm a tucker, you guys. So I'm gonna tuck it back. And like I said, I don't have a wig cap on, so some of my hair is gonna show through. But if you wanted to, you could, see, there's my hair. You could, um, Pull it back in a little ponytail. You could clip it up. You could do the half up, half down. That would be really pretty. Especially for summer. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Oh, it's sliding back a little too much. But anyway, and thank you so much. This is such a beautiful wig. If I decide not to wear it, I will donate it. Uh, a donation center for women with cancer who can't afford wigs or maybe even um, people with alopecia who can't afford wigs. Whoever needs a wig and can't afford to buy one, this is just absolutely stunning. And because the way it's made and it has a lace front, you can change the part. I changed it from a center part to a left side part, which is the way I normally part my hair, but look at that. It just lifts back up off of the skin. This is beautifully made. I've never had an aesthetical wig before. This is my first one, and I am very impressed. If I had had hair like this when I was a young woman, I think I would have had a lot of a lot more self-esteem. Uh, my hair was very thin and fine, and wouldn't hold the curl, and it was that type of hair that has the ugly wave. Wouldn't hold the curl, but if I put it back in a ponytail, I had that elastic mark ridge in my hair until I washed it. So, yeah. Oh, you guys check out Aesthetica Wigs if you haven't already. Finn in this beautiful reddish red highlight with gold highlights. Medium brown, medium to dark brown. It is just stunning. And, um... Make sure that you go to Bren's channel, Fake Hair Real Talk with Bren, and her Facebook page. Sign up for that, and you just might win the next giveaway. So anyway, thank you so much, Bren, and I apologize for the delay in getting this video up. But maybe it was a blessing in disguise, because I think a lot of people were busy over the holidays and weren't paying attention so much to YouTube, so... Okay, guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy 2018. Bye.